horror games for wimps. What up, wimps? Welcome back to Horror Games for Wimps, the show where I get scared, so you get spared. We're still playing Doki Doki. We are about to go and write our second poem. Uh, I'm going to write it for Yuri over here, because, not going to lie, pretty sure that she's uh, she's my girl. Who I want to, uh, who I want to woo, and now Yuri likes uh, dark and spooky words. So let's see what we can, uh, what we can go with that uh, that might win her over. Now I'm gonna go a heart because uh, Telltale Heart, uh, tragedy, uh, graveyard. Uh, let's go with secretive. Oh, she liked that. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Uh, misfortune. Oh no, that one was Sayori. Uh, da, 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 da. how about melancholy? There, she liked that one. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, let's see. Uh, judgment. Yep, she liked that one. Uh, entropy. I'm getting there. I'm get oh no, sadness was Sayori. Uh, to be honest, as long as I don't make Natsuki jump, then I'm all right. Uh, oh, Festa. Yeah, she likes that. Hmm. How about broken? No, that was Sayori again. Uh, philosophy? Yep, okay. Uh, despised? She liked that one. Unrequited? Nope. Uh, covet? Yeah. Uh, horror? Yeah, she likes that one. Uh, disarray? Excellent. Anxiety? Fantastic. Massacre? And finally... This one. Oh, we did a lot of good ones there, my friend. I think we've written a poem that she is going to love. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. I'm B. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm just still not used to you being in the clubs, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Uh, th that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh, why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's that's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you wouldn't have brought you would have brought a snack before coming to the club room. So if you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money, so I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry, and so that only leaves the one option. Ooh ah I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in the her book, as always. Oh, I, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Ambi to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, oh, uh, did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. Ooh! Oh ho ho ho! I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That... Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Ah, come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Oh, ho, ho. Bap! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. What was... Yeah? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. I is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Oh ho ho ho, I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Oh ho ho ho. Nanaski, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. 
Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Nom, 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 nom. Sayori suddenly clasps her hand over her mouth. I beat my tongue! <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, oh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Cheese. Bagels can't be choosers, but yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Then, still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm, that's a bit unusual. Oh, she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Yeah? You don't think she... she has a... Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Oh, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Oh, sorry. I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Well, Monica choose a club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? What on earth? What? There. <laughs> what, on, what on earth are you talking about? No, I keep going into Yuri's voice. Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't, really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. Oh, that... Monica looks at me. M maybe once I get a bit better, I will. Yay! Yeah. That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Well, is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Ambi. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Ah. I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, I was just kind of waiting for you. Oh, well, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself, as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I've got to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, uh, I have the water pitcher. Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm? Huh? Why, uh, why are you two off to? Eh? Well, just Yuri and I were going to make some tea, so... I suddenly realise how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want me to... Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Ambi in club activities? Eh? Uh, uh. My mouth gapes. I... Uh, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Then let's go, Ambi. Ah. Yuri quickly exits the room, then I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so... Irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Ambi. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Well, because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. 
your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Oh, no, wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Ah, oh, ah, oh, Yuri lifts her head. I'll be. I really like being friends with you. Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, no, that was my fault. Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Ombi, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this uh, properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hoo <laughs> hoo. That was a goofy laugh. Oh. In any case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good. Oh, you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was just letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, oh, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Umbi. It's very endearing. That's Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup for each of us. Umbi, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't realise. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Ah. My... my your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yeah. I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it with my hand that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that's even more harder to focus, because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to ra relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, that's, that's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologise. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it, but as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely normal. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me as if she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Abby, sorry. I guess I... I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that's... well... You were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean, not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Ah, like before, Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone. Ooh, ah, ah. Oh. Yuri jolts back. It's time to share, it's time to share poems. Umby, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Y yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Ah. Uh... Right, we'll show the poems to uh, to the girls tomorrow and hear their poems in return. 
we've made some progress today here with Yuri. I feel ourselves going in the right direction. Remember that we're playing a horror game here, folks. We're playing a horror game. Allegedly. Maybe one day we'll see proof. But it's not today. Could it be tomorrow? Come back then and find out. Until then, boom powder.